All right, question number five says uh, the least squares regression equation is y hat uh, 753.9x plus the 13,665, where y is the median income, x is the percentage of 25-year-olds and older with at least a bachelor's degree in the region. Uh, the scatter diagrams indicate a linear relationship, sorry, a linear relationship between the two variables with the correlation coefficient of 0.7695. We're going to complete parts A through D. So we're going to predict the median <clears throat> income in the region um, with 30% of adults uh, 25 years or older having a bachelor's degree. So X is the percentage that has that degree. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug in 30 for um, x and then we're going to get a value so we're going to use the um, equation to predict the value so what I'm going to do I'm just going to do it in my calculator I'm going to clear out turn this off and I'm going to type this equation here so 753.9x plus 13,665. All right, so when I hit graph, I'm not going to see anything. Um, my window is not correct. So what I'm going to do first is go window, um, or not that, I'm going to go zoom, and I'm going to go to 6 to put the standard window. Now, because these numbers are so much bigger, I'm not seeing anything. Um, I don't really need to see anything. I just need the calculator to be able to pick up where X is equal to 30 since I went out to 30. Um, I could change my window to match this and I could see a line um, and we can do that but mainly what I need to do is make sure my X axis goes out as far as I need it to. So if I go to window and I'm going to go ahead and put X as 0 and I'm just going to change my X max to 60 what I see here. Um, and regardless if I see the graph or not, as long as it can pick up on the x-axis where it, where it happens, it'll reach the y value even if it's off screen. So now what I do is I'm going to hit trace, and I'm going to hit just type in 30. That's what I'm actually looking for. That's actually where it put me, which is great. But if I hit 30 and hit enter, then um, I can see the y value here at the bottom. And it wants us to round to the nearest dollar. So what I'm seeing is 36,282. <clears throat> All right, in part B, in a particular region, 26.1% of those 25 year or older have at least a bachelor's degree. The median income in the region is $30,076. Is this income higher than what you would expect? Why? Okay, so what we would do, go to our calculator again, and then I will just, once I hit trace, I can just input any number I want. So now I can just type 26.1 and then hit enter. So based on what I get when I hit 26.1, they give me uh, 33,341. We're predicting something higher. They're giving us a lower value. So based on this, we would say this is lower than expected because the expected income based on our model is 33,000, round to the nearest dollar, 33,342. Okay, so now at this point, I just want to show you, if I go back to window, I'm going to change the Y value. So the Y values go from, they start at 20,000. Um, let's go, I don't know if we should start at zero or not, this is so high. Let's start the Y minimum, let's start it at 15,000, a little bit lower. And we're going to go up to... We can just say a little bit higher, let's say 60,000. And since these numbers are so big, we will let it count by five thousands. And then we'll get to see a, a line if I graph this. So now we can see part of the graph. Um, so that when I put those X values in, it'll show you where it is on the line. <clears throat> All right, so it says interpret the slope. So what is the slope for every, and what is X? Percent. Um, that X increases by one, um, the income goes up, the average income 
goes up by this slope amount. So that's the way we interpret the slope. So for every dollar increase in the median income, nope, we're increasing X, which is the percentage of 25 year old or older with the bachelor's degree in the region. <clears throat> so for every percent increase in adults having at least a bachelor's degree, the median income increases by the slope amount on average. So B is the one we're looking for, 753.9. So the median income increases by that much. Okay, and then D, last part, wants us to explain why it does not make sense to interpret the y-intercept <clears throat> and choose the correct answer below. So here, <clears throat> um, the y-intercept would mean that if I put a zero in here, that means nobody has a bachelor's degree that the median income would just be uh, the 13665 And we know that there are some jobs that don't require bachelors that start you higher. Um, some jobs are lower. And so um, trying to say that this is the starting um, amount for everyone is not going to be true. So um, that's just my interpretation. So let's see what the answers say. It does not make sense to interpret y-intercept because a value of x <coughs> equals zero is outside the scope of the model. That is one thing as well. Um, you don't want to use a prediction line to estimate something that's far outside of your data points because then it gets it gets off. So that is also a very true um, statement. It does not make sense to interpret uh, y intercept as a y value <clears throat> of zero is outside the scope of the model. So x value is is what we're looking at because um, we start at 15 percent and we don't we don't go past below 15 percent. So the x value is outside the scope of the model, um, which makes the y value, but the x value is what we normally input. I mean, it does not make sense to interpret the y intercept because x value of zero does not make sense. It does not make sense to interpret the y-intercept because y value zero doesn't make sense. Okay, so the best interpretation is going to be A. Um, X being outside of the scope um, means we, won't, we don't want to use that to predict because it gets off.